Hey, so cheers. So, uh, <clears throat> got a special beer here that I'm excited about trying. This is a beer sent to me by Wally Feck. And this is his Shakespeare Stout. Heard a lot of you guys talk about how good this beer is, so I am very excited to try it. So, uh, found a nice peaceful corner of the house, kind of quiet. Just came back from a rather large Mexican food dinner. So hopefully uh, I'm able to get this down. So let's go ahead and crack this thing. Very slight hiss, which isn't surprising for a uh, for a stout. I'm not sure if it's a, a Russian Imperial stout or a regular stout or a dry stout. So let's go ahead and give it a pour. I know Wally has got his system dialed in, so stouts are kind of like his thing. So I can. Wow. Pours a nice, beautiful color. Um, yeah, as, as I would expect, it's uh, midnight black. It's got a nice uh, tan to dark tan. Uh, I guess about a half a finger head. And the aroma is... You guys know I have a terrible nose, but let me try to get something here. Get a little bit of coffee. Some kind of smell that, um, good smell, uh, good aroma that I can't quite, can't quite put my finger on. Got the heavy malt, obviously. You know, all his beers have that nice heavy, heavy malt. Yeah, I can't quite, can't quite place that other aroma. It's kind of faint, faint now. It's almost kind of like a, a little bit of a, a little bit of hint of a chocolate uh, aroma. I'll try to pull this out. Maybe I should let it. You know what? I'm gonna let this thing warm up a bit because uh, I don't think I'm doing it justice uh, drinking this thing right out of the refrigerator. Let me come back after this thing has, has warmed up a bit. Okay, so I let this thing warm up a little bit. And see if I can pull something off the nose now. Yeah, not really. Um, still getting uh, kind of a, a uh, medium coffee. A little bit of chocolate maybe, some roast. Uh, and then that heavy malt. So, all right, let's go in for a taste. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah. So the it makes sense that I <clears throat> smelled some chocolate because when I drink this, I think of. Uh, Reminds me of eating a Hershey's Special Dark uh, candy bar, and I think the Special Dark candy bar is where you have the the not the maybe it's the semi sweet, not the not milk chocolate, but the you know kind of rich chocolate that's uh, not quite as sweet. Uh, the, the Special Dark, you know, the darker type chocolate. That's what this that's what this tastes like to me. Um, I'm not an experienced stout drinker. I mean, I think I can tell the difference between a dry stout and a I wouldn't necessarily call this one a dry stout. I don't think it's an imperial stout. I think it's kind of a regular stout, if that, if that makes sense. I don't know what the ABV is on this. Wally gave me a sheet, I think, and I lost it. So, uh, But I don't think it's a... It's not, it's not an imperial. It doesn't taste like an imperial. Uh, and I don't think it's a dry, because it's got a lot more flavor than uh, the uh, dry stout that I got from, uh, from uh, Mash Panel. Might be like a coffee stout or something, because I can, along with the special dark chocolate, I can kind of taste um, like a coffee. Um, I 
what's amazing is I'm not getting super astringency, which you normally get on a on a stout, kind of in the back. You know, it's it's there. It, it, it's it doesn't quite linger like some of the imperial stouts I've had. Um, and the uh, carbonation, I think, is it's this is what you expect when you drink a stout. This uh, some of them that I get are a little weak. Like the one I did for the SJ Pour Challenge was was kind of weak uh, in terms of carbonation. This one seems to be spot on. So this is a uh, damn good beer, Wally. I'm going to sip the rest of this and hope that my Capitals are able to pull out a, uh, a win against the Penguins tonight. If not, then we're eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, we're down 3-1. Well, but there's always hope, right? Thank you, Wiley. This is a this is an awesome beer. I'm glad I saved it for the weekend. Cheers. Mm.